Yes, sir. 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 Headphones keep going in and out. Let's get this started, man. My headphones are tripping. Hold on. I'm almost ready. Okay, where we go? There we go. It's Tuesday night. It's Taco Tuesday. We back on the stream and we looking for Natty number three tonight. I don't know what that was at the end, but hey, yo, what's going down, chat? Happy Tuesday, man. Big shout out to everybody in the building already, man. Time to check in, check in, check in, check in, check in. Beast, I see you. Beast is here. Beast has been here for 24 hours, man. Uh, big shout out to Casper in the building. Canard, I see you. Dougie, what's good, man? Big shout out to everybody that's still coming in. Still coming in. Come on in. Relax. Kick your shoes off. Darius is in the building. Tyree is in the building. What's good, man? What's good with everybody? Happy Tuesday. I appreciate y'all boys allowing me to take yesterday off, man. Had to get some much needed time with the fam. We coming in shoes off, man. Yeah, take your shoes off. Put your feet up. Relax a little bit. Get some popcorn. We're going to have a good time tonight, man. We're going to have a good time tonight. Uh, we got the national championship. Looking for number three. Uh, then we're going to do the off season. Um, yeah. Action pack night, man. Action pack night. Uh, I got big news. Big, big, big news. Shout out to Kanar saying he had pizza tonight, man. That's what's up. I just got done eating some tacos. You know what I'm saying? Fire as usual. A little guac, a little salsa, cheese on top. Put some lettuce on them joints. You know what I'm saying? Simple, simple. Uh, big news, man. Major announcement. Uh, your boy is now a host of a TV segment. Right? Crazy. Hold on. Can we get some? Can I get a? Let me get. Let me get some. Uh, let me get some cheers. Oh, my my thing's not over. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We gonna start that over. Hold on. We gonna start that over. We gonna start that over. Your boy is now the host of a TV segment at the TV station I work with. Man, can I get some applause in the chat, man? Clap it up. 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 Big deal. Big 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 deal. Um, it's basically. Um, it's called Take a Road Trip, and it is basically where we're where we live at in Arkansas, two to three hours around our city. Man, we're looking for different stuff to do for like like a road trip, right? Uh, so my first episode that I'm recording is tomorrow afternoon, man. Let me get another cheers. Man. And I'm not gonna lie. Your boy's a little nervous. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. So the first episode I'm doing is a food challenge, right? Crazy. They make your boy eat food. Um, but it's not just any like challenge, right? It's like the grossest and most, it just, it, it's, I'm looking at the picture right now. It's insane. Um, the, it's called the Sultana Burger Challenge. That's the first episode that I'm recording, right? Y'all ready to see what this burger looks like? It's crazy. It's crazy. This is what it looks like. Oh, you move out the way. We'll move over here. This is the burger, y'all. This is the burger I'm, I'm eating tomorrow. Four patties. I think they're quarter pound patties. There's bacon. There's an egg right there cheese on each slice of burger or each burger hash browns and chili this is my first episode i got it too y'all it's <laughs> i really screwed facts facts so tonight i have my tacos right i'm not eating nothing until i have to eat this burger tomorrow afternoon man this, like, when they sent me the picture of what they wanted me to do, I called wifey and was like, oh, I, don't, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. 
Uh, so I pulled it up on YouTube to see what like what it is and all this stuff. And I came across the dude. Uh, this is actually his thumbnail right here. Um, click on that. That's his thumbnail right there. So this competitive eater, this competitive eater went to this restaurant and ate two of these joints. Two of them in under 10 minutes. So you got 30 minutes to uh, eat the burger. And then if you finish the burger, you get a t-shirt and they put your picture up on the wall. This guy ate two of these in under 10 minutes. And actually it was under eight minutes. He ate it in like seven, I think it was like seven minutes and 45 seconds. I said, oh, I'm gonna throw up. Hopefully, hopefully nobody's eating right now. I'm gonna throw up. Like no cap. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to finish it. I'll probably get halfway. I'll probably, I'll probably get two patties and the, and the bacon and the egg. And then that's it. Like fam, I'm going to be sick tomorrow. I told my boss, I was like, Hey, don't expect me to come back and do any work after this. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. The worst part is like, look at the chili. They said, this is chili. That looks like uh, 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 baked beans to me, bro. That does not look like chili. If it's baked beans, I, I'm done deal. Do y'all think y'all can finish this burger? Type one in the chat if you think you can finish this burger. One in the chat for you can finish it. Two in the chat, you couldn't finish it. Tyree said you couldn't finish it, bro. I'm scared. I'm low key nervous, y'all. I am low key nervous. He said two times a thousand. Darius said two. I, bro, I just, I don't know. And look, Casper said he could finish it in 30 minutes. Casper, you can knock that out. Tyree said I'd die. That's what I'm scared of, bro. Like high key. Like I'm gonna get into it. I'm, I'm, I'm all of a sudden just tights. I'm like, yo, ain't no shot. There's no shot. So I'll be doing that tomorrow afternoon. Um, yeah, man, I imagine. Let me talk. They talked to me into this. I was like, y'all couldn't just like ease me into this job. Like I couldn't like go out in, in like a forest, get the eulogy and funeral stuff ready. Facts. Let me go hang, uh, get my will going. <laughs> Cause this dog ain't no, ain't no way. And I'm like, people go, it's th this, you know how much this burger is dog? It's $30. Casper, you're a retired competitive eater. Hey, yo. It's four half pound big John beef patties, hash browns, chili cheese, bacon, egg. Oh, my stomach just turned thinking about it, bro. Oh my Lord. So yeah, that's that's my afternoon tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited to be hosting this man. Like real talk, like I've I've always wanted to do something um, that was TV related. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. Nice start to the job. Passed out, <laughs> sick, throwing up. <laughs> the first episode being sick. Such a good look. Uh, but now nah, for real, I wanted to do something in TV for so long, man. Uh, I really thought I was gonna be. Uh, doing sports for a while. That was going to be like a sports anchor. Uh, but, you know, sometimes those roads just don't connect. So uh, it's pretty cool to be able to start doing this. Uh, what's it going to lead to? I have no idea, but it's a great way to get uh, my real name out there. Uh, you know, you never know. You never know who's watching. You never know who might come across your stuff and what it could lead to. So I'm excited, man. Uh, once the episode is finished, I will I will watch it on stream with y'all. Um, I'll try not to watch it at work, but I'll rather watch it with you guys on stream, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we make it through. OK, <laughs> my boss was like, yo, don't don't force yourself. Uh, you know, if you can't finish it, you can't finish it. But I was like, I ain't going out like no punk. You know what I'm saying? Like I can finish. I can do the two patties for sure. It's going to be that second, that, that second stint. Like I could get about two of them done about 15. It's going to be that second half. Don't be like, Ugh. 
and then you want me to host this thing, right? Like you want me to be, I got to do an open. I got to ask questions. Uh, I got to interview somebody and I got to close it out after eating. Now I'm going to have meat sweats. I'm going to have mud butt. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough day. <laughs> it's going to be a tough day, bro. And then we got to drive. I think it's, what, 45 minutes to an hour back home. I'm going to be asleep. I'm going to be in the backseat of the truck, knocked out. Don't talk to me. Just let me sleep. And I got to go to church after that. It's just going to be a long day tomorrow. I got to get myself mentally prepared for that, man. The chili beans provides extra liquids. Ugh. And I hate, like, like chili that's just beans, right? Give me chili. Like, I give me the meat chili or something like that. Just order me some Little Caesars. Little Caesars is cool. Little Caesars is cool. Hey, I got a fast food tier list. Should we do that first before we start the game? Or should we just go straight into the game? As we're talking about food, my man just said he, or Darius said he ordered him some Little Caesars. I got this, I got this fast food tier list that I found. I was like, this would be pretty cool to do on stream with y'all, man. Um, Jago, what's good, man? Yeah, let's talk about it. All right, man, let's do it. Hey, I'm good, fam. How's everything going with you, bro? All right, I think I'm going to go up here. Actually, I'll go here. I'll go here. All right, man, we are talking about fast food tonight. And uh, your boy came across a fast food tier list. And it's got a lot of restaurants on here. I think it's missing a couple. Uh, but I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of spots on here I've never been to. Uh, so y'all going to have to help me out, all right? Uh, but let's jump right in. It's A&W All-American Food. Now, we had one in Vegas. I just never went. Uh, so I'm going to put never had. I, I'm guessing it's, it's decent. I, I, I'm guessing like they do burgers and stuff. You don't have it, but in Texas, Rosa's Cafe is a great Tex-Mex dinner fast food. Hey, yo. Okay. Uh, Arby's is next. Now, I am not uh, a big Arby's guy. Uh, I know they've changed up their menu, but I remember growing up like their roast beef was bomb. They actually had like a super roast beef sandwich back in the day. That was banging, right? It had like lettuce, tomato, this sauce and everything. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Arby's at C tier, though, because I just I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fallen says it's ne he's never had it. It's F tier. Shout out to Diddy, man. I appreciate you, bro. You might have to change your name now, bro. All the stuff that's going on with Diddy, you might have to change your name, my guy. <laughs> ah, sorry. Sorry. Baja Fresh. Now, we had one of these in Vegas. And I was a big fan of Baja Fresh. I'm going to put that at B tier. Here's why. With their burritos, man, they, like, uh, when they make their tortillas and they're getting ready to serve it to you, they put cheese on the tortilla first, close it up, Make it hot, open it back up, melted cheese. Oh my God, so good, so good. Uh, F tier, never had all burgers. AW Burgers, Blimpy, never had Blimpy. So I'm gonna put that there. Bojangles, I've heard nothing but good things about Bojangles, okay? Never had it though, never had it. I can't wait to have it. It's like further east. They don't have any here in the south. Uh, Boston Market, I'm putting at F tier. Boston Market, I'm not a big fan of rotisserie chicken. Uh, their mac and cheese wasn't that good the last time I had it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put that at F tier. Burger King, this one's going to be tough because Burger King to me is hit or miss. It depends on when when, when you go. All right. Uh, I'm a big Whopper with cheese guy uh, with the onion rings and the zesty sauce. The zesty sauce alone gets them to a D tier. Okay, they're burgers. All right, all right. I'm gonna put Burger King at C tier, at C tier. Okay, Raisin Canes. If you know me, you know I love Canes, the best, hands down, the best. You can get chicken fingers. The cane sauce is amazing. Their honey mustard is amazing, and I love their French fries. Canes, easily the best. Uh, Carl's Jr. 
Uh, Carl Jr. is okay. I'm not mad at it. Their famous star, pretty good. It's a very messy burger. Uh, they have a uh, Western burger that's pretty bomb. But is it better than Burger King? I don't know. I think we'll have to put it at C tier. Uh, checkers. I've only had checkers once. <laughs> and it's a funny story. So uh, Dan used to be used to do uh, Taekwondo. Uh, and he had to go to Little Rock. So I flew into Little Rock. This is when I was living. I was either in Denver or I was back in Vegas. And I flew into Little Rock so I could surprise him. And, we, and I went and watched him compete. And after the competition, we went to Checkers to get some food. Uh, and I was, I don't know, I think I was irritated with how the the worker was handling stuff. I got the food, got in the car. We got to the hotel. I put the food on top of the car and I was upset. I boom, slammed the door. The food came falling down. All right, no, no, the food fell out the back. The food fell out the bottom of the back. I was heated. I was heated, bro. And I said, I'm done. And off of that alone, Checkers has to go D. <laughs> Just because that happened, it has to go D. Uh, I wasn't impressed with what they had. I was. I really wasn't. Um, so yeah, uh, I think Wifey is a big Checkers fan though. Um, just for that Tyree just for that Chick-fil-a I, I mean I it's no question it's no question it's the best the best I love the chicken sandwich I love the chicken nuggets I love the breakfast Chick-fil-a is the goat when it comes to fast food and the people are nice the people are amazing and the waffle fries and high key, the greatest drink ever invented, the frozen lemonade. Bro, my God, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, Chipotle, the best. I mean, come on, man. You go in there, you get a burrito the size of a brick. You can get, uh, uh, um, what is it, the quesadilla now, the bowl. My, my go-to for Chip Chipotle, is a burrito bowl with brown brown rice, double chicken. You got to put uh, the peppers and onions on that joint. Then you go uh, a little queso. Okay, queso sets it off. Then you do pico, you do cheese, guacamole, uh, corn, sour cream, lettuce. I promise you, it'll change your life. Double chicken, like you have to do double meat, pause, on anything you get from Chipotle. Facts. Churches. Uh, I'm gonna put churches at a C. Real greasy chicken, steroid chicken. Their biscuits are fire though. Never had cookout before. Uh, I heard it was pretty fire though. Culver's. They had one when I lived in in South Bend, and I don't remember going. I don't remember going to Culver's. Uh, so I'm gonna put never had it. Uh, but there are people in Indiana that live by Culver's. Uh, Del Taco. This is a tough one for me because I love Del Taco. Their chicken soft tacos got me through a lot of drunk nights. I'm just saying. I'm going to put Del Taco at a B. It's be uh, we'll get to there. We'll get there in a minute. We'll get there in a minute. Denny's. I'm not a big Denny's fan. I'm not a big Denny's fan. Like the Grand Slam is cool. Uh, they got a, uh, what is it? Moon over Miami or something like that. That's pretty good. But after that, I'm just not impressed, yo. I'm just not impressed. Domino's. Domino's has gotten better over the years. Um, but do I think it's better than like Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, Papa John's? No, I'm gonna put it at C tier. Now, if we're doing Dairy Queen, are we talking ice cream? Or are we talking food? If we're talking ice cream for Dairy Queen, it's the best. Food-wise, it's not that good. I'm not a fan of the burgers or the chicken fingers at uh, Dairy Queen. Now, if we're talking ice cream, if we're talking ice cream, it's the best. 
Food wise, it would be an F. So Dairy Queen has to go in a C. Splits the difference. It splits the difference. Splits the difference. Ice cream is the best. The food is F. Food is an F. I hate, I hate, Daniel's standing right here. I hate Dairy Queen's food. You're, you're crazy. What? You're crazy. What's Chipotle? Chipotle's at the go. What? So El Pollo Loco. Again, really good food. I think that it's, it's decent, but it's not on the same level as Chipotle. So I'm going to go D tier. I'm just going to go D tier. Firehouse subs, B. I, I love me some firehouse subs. I usually get, um, they've got like a um, a cheese steak with, and I put mushrooms and some barbecue sauce in that joint. Fire. Fire. Diddy said uh, firehouse puts too much meat on their crap. Come on, man. That's like, that's you got to do that for a sandwich though. Fire Firehouse, or, or for a sub, you want meat, pause, you want veggies and you want like some, some kind of sauce. That's what you gotta. That's what you gotta have on a sandwich. Five guys, expensive as all hell, okay? But their burgers are so fire. The best. The best. The best. Diddy says it's like eating straight two pounds of meat. It's meat with bread, man. Come on, bro. Hey. Hey, fuck. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. My son just said their meat is the best. Get out. Get out. Uh, Five Guys is, is by far the best burger in the game. Hands down. Hands down. It's And, and the fry, their fries might even be better than their burgers. Just saying. I hop. Give me I hop all day over Denny's and any other breakfast. Ooh, let me not say any other breakfast spot. Let me not say any other breakfast spot. Uh, I'm going to put I hop at a B tier. Whoa, A, hey, yo. <laughs> Diddy, A, hey, yo. Five guys is the only man I'd put in my mouth. Pause, dog. What? What? <laughs> I quit, yo. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy, that's funny, man. All right, let's keep going. We got in and out I'm from the West Coast. in and out is so goaded. The only thing that makes them not the best is their fries. So I'm going to put in and out at a high B tier. All right. Uh, is, is it is the burger? Are the burgers good? Yes. Get them animal. Get anything animal style. It's fire. It's fire. Jack in the box again. Uh, Jack in the Box is one of those places that got me through a lot of drunken nights in my 20s, yo. Uh, I'm going to put Jack in the Box at a high C tier. In fact, it's going to be above Arby's. Okay. Um, yo, they got egg rolls. If you could have egg rolls on your on your menu on, at a burger spot, come on, man. Come on, man. Jersey Mike's. Now, I've, I've had Jersey Mike's, I think, once, uh, like a couple times, right? And they're solid. They're solid. I mean, it's not better. To me, it's not better than Firehouse. I'm going to put Jersey Mike's at like a C. I'll put him at a C. Jimmy John's. I don't. I wasn't a fan of their bread. Like for me, like if I'm getting a, a sub, like a sub sandwich, I want my the bread to be soft. I don't want to be biting into like, like some uh, bread that's going to cut up my mouth. Not a fan. Quelo, what's good, man? St. Breezes, what's good? Bro, you're tripping. You're tripping. Del Taco is definitely B. Their chicken soft tacos, fire. Hands down, the best chicken soft tacos in the world. F, you're wildin'. You are wildin'. You're wildin'. All right, Jimmy John's. Like I said, the bread was a little bit too hard. Pause. Uh, I'm going to put them in a D tier for me. I'm sorry. Jolly B. Now, a lot of you guys probably never had have have had Jolly B. Addison was good, man. Um, Jolly B is like 
the uh, Asian version of KFC. Their chicken is fire. And when you put it, they get you like a side, you get a side of gravy and you dip that joint in the gravy. Holy Jolly B easily a C tier for me because a lot of people haven't had it before. Five guys is phenomenal, but pricey as heck facts, but they give you hella, fr hella fries, bro. The whole bag. KFC. Oh boy. Oh boy, I am not a KFC fan, yo. I am not a KFC fan. I think KFC has fell off so much over the years, right? Dan, come get the dogs, please. Hold on, y'all. Now, KFC, like their original, like their extra crispy used to be fire. The original, fire. Now, every time I eat there, I get sick, man. So, unfortunately, I got to put KFC at a D tier. D tier. Not a fan. Not a fan anymore, bro. All right. Shout out to Little Caesars, man. They're, they're, they're changing the game. They're getting the little cheap Little Caesars puff joints. I want to try those. Uh, for cheap pizza, Little Caesars is pretty fire. I'm going to put it at a... See, I think I got to move Domino's to D tier because I think Little Caesars is better than Domino's. Low key. Uh, Long John Silver's. F. 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 Long John Silver's is disgusting, bro. It's so nasty. Uh, I used to eat it as a kid. When you try it as an adult, does not do anything, bro. How do you have the same batter that you use for your fish, the same batter, and you have chicken too? It's weird. It's weird. Not a fan. <sighs> McDonald's. <sighs> Whoa, canard. Really? It's kind of, that's low key, kind of R word, my guy. Low key, kind of R word. Uh, McDonald's. Never had it before. Never had it. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> McDonald's to me is can I and we just missed the three to move on in the NIT McDonald's to me is going to go B tier and here's why fries are amazing their burgers have fallen off have fallen off completely. Uh, Big Mac just ain't Big Mac like it used to be. Uh, the quarter pounder just ain't quarter pounded like it used to be. The fries and the and the milkshakes are the only keeping only thing that's keeping it in the B tier. I'm just saying, and they're slower and more expensive now. Not a fan. Uh, never been to Moe's. I don't think I've ever had noodles and company. It is old reliable. It is. McDonald's is very reliable, but it's just not. It's just ain't. It ain't what it used to be, bro. Panda Express, the best. The best. Anytime you can get chow mein, fried rice, orange chicken, teriyaki chicken, and a chicken egg roll in one meal with some sweet and sour sauce, bro, give it to me all day. Give it to me all day. Panda Express to me is the best. Uh, Panera Bread. I like Panera Bread. I think they're another expensive type of meal. Their soups are good. Uh, their sandwiches are mid. So I'm going to keep it at a C for them. Panera Bread gets a C. Papa John's. Hot take. Not a fan of Papa John's. He's low-key racist, too. Uh, we're going to put him at F tier, bro. Just, alone, just off of him being racist, he's F tier. Uh, Diddy said, I'm nasty, man. Got to get the local Chinese food places. Yeah, we got a couple of local. We got one that's like a really good Chinese spot. That's like an hour away. Super fire. But hey, yo, Panda Express, that's where it's at. Panera bread, Panera bread, B tier, but uh, bagels are goaded. Uh, five guys, most expensive facts. Uh, never had Panda Express. 
Pizza Hut is D tier. We're getting there. Yeah, I mean, like he's he, the 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 original owner of Papa John's. That's I think that's high key why his face is kind of scratched out right there. Was made some racist comments. That's why Shaq took over as the main guy. Uh, PDQ. I don't even know what that is. Never had it. Uh, I've never had Penn Station before. Pizza Hut. Uh, I like Pizza Hut. The stuffed crust pizza is goaded by far. Um, but again, the price to me, man, is what kind of sets it, what, what keeps it out of the best. Um, I'm gonna put it as a B. If we're ordering pizza, nine times out of 10, we're gonna get it from Pizza Hut. We're, we're, we're gonna get Pizza Hut over anything else. Popeye's chicken. Listen to me. Listen good. Popeye, Popeye's poops on every other chicken place that tries to do chicken. Churches and uh, what's the other one? KFC doesn't touch what Popeye's does. Popeye's is the best. Popeye's is the best. Their chicken is good. Their fries are amazing. Their sides are all good. The only thing that I'm pissed off about with Popeye's that get rid of the dirty rice. The dirty rice was the greatest thing ever. But their fries are banging. The mac and cheese is good. Their shrimp, their little fried shrimp joints, fire. Fire. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Tyree, let me know what you think. <laughs> uh, Portillo's. Portillo's. Uh, a lot of people have never had Portillo's because it's like a, I think it's a Chicago thing, uh, but it's so fire. Portillo's is so bomb. If you ever go, get the combo sandwich. It's, uh, it's uh, roast beef and it's uh, an Italian sausage bang it but i'm gonna put it at the b tier because it's a lot of people don't know what it is i know what it is it's goaded i've never had pot belly before qdoba qdoba is solid i would put qdoba uh probably at a c tier i don't think it's better it's not better than chipotle and it's not better than baja fresh uh shout out to qdoba fun fact when i played flag football they were our sponsor of our football team Quiznos, I would put Quiznos probably at a probably a, a high D tier. Um, I don't even know if Quiznos is still around. Um, their, their sandwiches were okay. Roy Rogers, I've never had that. Sabaros. Now this was the mall pizza back in the day. We used to go to some, we used to go to the mall and we would get Sabaros pizza. Their stuffed pizza, Supreme, bang it. Uh, but that's all they really had. So I'm gonna put them at a D tier. Dude, this place called Manhattan Bagel. I swear this is the best bagel you'll ha ever have. It's only in like a couple of states, but if you come visit CLT, you gotta try it. Okay. Schlotzky's. Um, I don't, I don't think I've ever had Schlotzky's. I don't think I have. Shake Shack. Oh. Do we put Shake Shack up there at the best with five guys and above in and out? Or do we go five guys in and out Shake Shack? Shake Shack is so bomb though. Like their burgers are fire. But again, it's very expensive. Very expensive. I'm gonna put them just behind in and out. I will put them just behind in and out. Them, right, listen, the Shake Shack shakes, bro. We have one in downtown Summerlin in Vegas. Banging, banging. Uh, I don't know what Sheets is. I don't even. I've never heard of it. Skyline, Skyline Chili. I've heard of it, but I've never been. I just find it weird that you put chili on top of spaghetti. I'm gonna leave it at that. Peace has been waiting for me to, you know, say something about it. I've never had Skyline Chili. Uh, again, I heard it was really good. Beast, go ahead. Is, is Skyline Chili any good? She says a gas station. Oh, word. I'm gonna put it here for me though. 
Chili on spaghetti. Yeah, they put chili on everything in Cincinnati, bro. I'm going to put it here. But go ahead, Beast. Comment on it. Uh, Sonic. Love their cheese sticks. Love Sonic cheese sticks. Anytime I get a burger from Sonic, though, my stomach ends up hurting. I love the tater tots. Um, as far as fast food goes, I'm going to put it at a low C. It's going to be a low C for me. Steak and Shake. Uh, again, big shout out to Steak and Shake. They used to be a sponsor of my radio show back in the day, so I can't say too much bad about them. Uh, but I'm going to put them at a C tier. Not bad burgers. They got the, I think they do the press burgers, so it's not too bad. A little biased because my family owned one years ago, and I'm not a chili guy, but it's honestly a mid B. Okay. Okay. Uh, Subway. Eat fresh. I don't think Subway is better than Firehouse. I don't think it's better than, I think it is better than Quiznos. Damn, I do have a radio voice. Appreciate you, man. Um, I'm gonna put Subway at a C tier because listen, my, my, a, my Subway sandwich was fire. It was oven roasted chicken all week. It had, you get it toasted with bacon, peppers and uh, green peppers and onions, right? As soon as they take it out, with some lettuce, tomato, pickles on that joint, and then you just just drench it at Chipotle Southwest. Good stuff. Good stuff. Swenson's, I've never had it. Never had it. <laughs> now, this is going to be the hottest take of the night. Y'all going to be mad at this one. Y'all going to be mad at this one. Taco Bell. Uh, every time I eat a Taco Bell, I get food poisoning. Every single time. I know people love Taco Bell. I know people love Taco Bell. I can't stand it. I can't. I get the menu. The menu's dope. They get. They bring you a lot of good stuff. They even have the what's it? The the Mountain Dew that everybody loves. But for me, if we're looking at the board, right, and all these other restaurants, Taco Bell, Taco Bell has to go F has to go F Chipotle is better uh where's my other I think uh Del Taco is better uh give me Qdoba give me Baja Fresh give me all that before I go to Taco Bell my wife is Mexican so we eat real Mexican food around here facts Addison yo get give me a hey, give me the food truck down the street over Taco Bell. Casper said cap. He's lying because how can five guys be on top when there's only one menu item? Have you ever been to wait? Five guys has more than one menu item, bro. You're bugging. You're bugging. Taco Bell is F tier for fallout after eating Taco Bell. Crazy puffs are good. Yo, I need some homemade Mexican food. So, yo, Diddy, we got a food truck down here, bro. They do the burrito tacos. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, Taco Cabana. I've had this one time when I lived in Austin. Uh, it was okay, uh, but I'm gonna put it at the D tier. Torchy's Tacos, really good tacos. Torchy's has really good tacos. I'm gonna put this at C tier though. Waffle House. I got a love hate relationship with Waffle House, okay? Because I feel like Waffle House is only good like late, late night when like folks are in there fighting. You have it any other time, it's not as good. But I love it so much. I love it so much. And honestly, they don't have my favorite place on here. They don't have, uh, oh God, what's the name of it? Dan, what's the name of that breakfast place over by the uh, hotels? No. Um, Cracker Barrel. They don't have Cracker Barrel on here. Cracker Barrel is the best breakfast in the game. Waffle House, I'm gonna put Waffle House at a high D. It's passing, it's passing. James, what's good, man? This was good, bro. Wawa, I've never been, I wanna go though because they said their sandwiches are really fire. How do I like Cracker Barrel? Only people you see going there are old people. 
Bro, Cracker Barrel is banging. It is really good. Kennard, what's your question, man? Hurry up. Uh, Wendy's. I'm, I'm, I'm in my feelings with Wendy's, y'all. Jade, you might fall asleep on stream. Come on, man. Why, for Wendy's, I love Wendy's. Okay? Go get the, 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 the former four for four. You go to when you go to Wawa when you're in Florida. Yeah, they, they got them in the, on the East Coast, too. Like, I think in Philly, if I remember correctly. Dang, you've been up since 330, bro. My bad. I'm sorry, man. Let me get back to Wendy's. I love Wendy's. Their nuggets are fire. Uh, I love the uh, what is it? The the bacon classic. I love that. I've never been a big baconator fan, uh, but their breakfast is really good, too. To me, Wendy's is a B tier to me. Okay, Kennard, I, I do you love fried chicken? I don't mean it in a racist way. I do like chicken. I do like fried chicken. Okay, there you go. Uh, Whataburger. <laughs> I love me some Whataburger. Love me some Whataburger. Listen, when I lived in Austin, there was one right around the corner from the apartment. Bang it. I don't think it's better than Jack in a Box, but I do think it's better than Carl's Jr. So I'm going to put it right there. C tier. White Castle, another one of those places where it's better on the late, 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 late night tip uh, when you're coming off of a really fun night. Um, but after that, the bread is a little soggy. Um, I, I'm not a big steam burger guy, so I'm gonna put it at a D tier. Shout out to all my Chicago people, man. If you know White, if you know, you know White Castle is banging though. Uh, Wiener Schnitzel, I've had it once. I don't want to rate it because it, it just, I, I don't really remember it. Uh, what is this one? Wings. Wings over. Never had it. Never had it. Wings stop. Wings stop to me is maybe like C tier. Uh, I mean, it's nothing too crazy. The burgers were okay. I mean, like the burgers, the, the chicken sandwiches were okay. The wings are okay. Um, you know, nothing to write home about. Honestly, give me, we've got a place down here called Wings to Go. Give me Wings to Go over Wingstop. Uh, I might even take Buffalo Wild Wings over Wings to Go. Last but not least, Zaxby's. Uh, this is Wifey's favorite restaurant, favorite fast food spot. She loves Zaxby's. On, not on here, Slim Chicken. Slim Chicken, if you guys have one, Slim Chickens is, bom is bomb too. Give me Slim Chickens any day of the week. Canes, Slim Chicken. Zaxby's, never been a fan of it. Uh, I think they're they're very overrated. Boom. F tier. F tier for me. That's my fast food tier list. If I changed anything, man, I feel like we can move in and out up to the best. I feel like Shake Shack could go up to the best as well. Pizza Hut, I might be able to be able, I might be able to get talked to and put up on the best. Um, but I think everything else is kind of where it needs to be. Uh, again, wa maybe Waffle House. Maybe we can put Waffle House at like a C tier. I can, I can see that. Uh, but everything else, I, I, I don't think it's it's moving, man. I don't know. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Hey, I think this was a fire tier list. Wendy's limited pretzel sandwich thing. So good. Yo, you can put too many at best then it wouldn't mean as much. Good list. Facts. Like, honestly, like if I'm going to go get fast food, right? And the top, that top row is available and they're somewhere close. I'm going to those spots, those spots first before I go anywhere else. Right? Like I'm going to go get Chick-fil-A off rip. Like that's that's my first stop. If Chick Fil A's line is too long, I'm looking down the street. Oh, Canes is cool. We're going to Canes. Now, if Canes line is too long, hey, I'm feeling Mexican. Let's go to Chipotle. Okay. <laughs> five Guys needs to pay me eat every because I too much money pay for it. Yeah, hey, Five Guys is expensive. Me and Dan went uh, one night, one day after church, and it was like forty bucks for the two of us. Insane. 
I, 20 bucks for a, a burger is crazy. But it's good stuff, though, man. It's good stuff. All right, y'all. Yo, yo, what was your radio show called? Can't stop thinking about it since you mentioned it. So I actually still have a radio show. I don't know if I ever told you guys this. I do do radio part time. Uh, it's uh, for a radio station based out of South Bend, Indiana. It's uh, smoking 99.1. Uh, my show is every Saturday from 2 till 7, 2 to 7 p.m. Sa- every Saturday. Um, obviously, it's not a live radio show because I'm not there. Uh, but yeah, that's that was also one of my passions growing up was doing radio. What's your rating on Buffalo Wild Wings? I'll probably put Buffalo Wild Wings at B. Uh, it's WSMK. I'll move up Pizza Hut, Sonic, and Skyline. I would personally have the best with uh, bias, but normal is B. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings is cool. Uh, like I said, I would probably go to what we have. We have Wings to Go here, and Wings to Go is so good. It's so good. All right, fellas. Great, great job, man. I like that. We got to do, we got to start doing more tier lists. That was fun. That was fun. All right. It's time to get into the Natty Boys. It's time. It's time. We are looking to bring home the national championship for the third time in a row. Uh, we are sitting at 15 and 0, and we've got to take on a very hot Oklahoma team. Um, Oklahoma was. I think one of the last teams to get into the playoff and they have beat a lot of top teams, man. They beat South Carolina. They beat, um, I forgot who the number three seed was, but they beat them too. Um, this team is stacked though. We cannot take them for granted. We really cannot look over them. Um, it's going to be a tough, it's going to be a tough matchup. Let's take a look at their squad real quick. They got a quarterback that's an 89 overall. Uh, I'll go here so you guys can see better. Oh, sorry. I know I forgot to do something. So they have an 89 overall quarterback and Chris Lyle, 6'5", 214. This dude is a problem, man. 3,009 yards, 30 touchdowns, 13 interceptions on the year. He can also get outside the pocket and run. He rushed for 1,554 yards this year with 12 rushing touchdowns. Contain is going to be the is going to be the key word for today. He's got 81 speed, 94 acceleration, 87 agility. He's got a strong arm, 91 throw power, 85 throw accuracy. He breaks tackles. He's elusive. He can truck. He's not going to fumble. A yo. Uh, at running back, Justin Watson, 86 overall with 90 speed. Uh, he's got 90 speed, 83 acceleration, 88 carry. Trucking's not really strong, but he's elusive. Uh, for his year, 1,610 yards, 16 rushing touchdowns. Okay. Okay. Wide receiver-wise, two very fast wide receivers. Graham Dixon, 6'2", 215 with 96 speed, 98 acceleration. And you got Steve Fields, 6'3", 197, 95 speed, 89 acceleration. Uh, you got Dave Har- David Harrison, um, 88 overall with 90 speed. Uh, and then you got Adam Bush, who's a senior, six foot two hundred three with eighty nine speed. So our secondary will be tested today. At tight end, they've got Willie Turner, eighty two overall with seventy five speed. <clears throat> Offensive line, not the strongest, not the strongest, but they're decent. Uh, at right tackle, eighty four overall, Nate Ryan. Uh, defensive side of the ball, defensive ends are okay. Up the middle, they've got Michael Bradley, true freshman. That's an 80 overall. Uh, linebacking group is really good, especially on the outside. You've got William Outlaw, great name for a football player, 86 overall. Middle linebacker is a 70, 84 overall. Anthony Robinson on the other side. Cornerback room, decent. They're quick. They're fast. Um, you've got Jason Hawkins, 86 overall with 92 speed. Brett, uh, Brett McDowell. 84 overall with 97 speed. Uh, and then you got Kerry Joseph, 78 overall with 94 speed. Uh, free safety is Blake Mitchell, 89 overall with 87 speed. And their strong safety might be their weakest link. 
Uh, Derek Just is 71 overall with 79 speed. So if we are able to see him in man coverage anywhere, we got to attack him, man. He's only he's only got 79 speed. Uh, I've envisioned him probably going one on one with our tight ends, which should be uh, a W for us. Sorry, a little off topic, but it's the season of. No, nah, it's not the off season for the big CFL. We're still in uh, we're in week six, I think. So we still got a little ways to go. Let me make sure my depth chart is correct here. OK, we're good. We're good. Yep. All right. Oh, boy. So this should be a fun one. Do they have any injuries that we need to be aware of? Before we jump in, man. Oklahoma. All right. So their free safety, Chad Moss, is out with a broken elbow. And then uh, their left guard has a torn groin. So let's, let's try to take advantage of that with our D tackles. Woo! This should be a good game. I want to put on my black and gold jerseys, but I'm scared it's going to crash the game. So we'll stay in our basic jerseys tonight. Whole team needs to bring their air game. Fact, though. All right, man. Dang, we average 58 points a game. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. It's the Natty. We're looking to bring home number three. We have truly built a dynasty. We're down in Tampa playing at this one, man. Make sure my sound effects are ready to go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Raymond James Stadium. We're going to see the offense first. No, we're going to see the defense first. Oklahoma said, give us the ball. The the hey, yo. Oh, look at the screens. That's low key kind of fire. I don't think I've ever played in the stadium. Let's get it. I don't think we could go man coverage here. I think we have to sit in a zone for most of the game. I think we're going to have to zone up the whole game. All right, first to 10. Comes out under center, three wide. Draw. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Ethan. Make. And of course, this happens. First play. At least we got it done early. At least we got it out the way early, fellas. Let's look at it that way. Positive. We got it out the way early. Oh, my gosh. And the whole emulator just crashed. Let me reset everything. All right. Give me a second here. Let me get everything back off. As soon as the game starts. At least it happened early in the game, right? Like, if this would have happened like halftime, I'd have been pissed. Oh, man. Now, watch. They get the ball. Yeah, and now I'm going to try to put the got those gothic uniforms on us. Listen, now they're going to come out and score in their first drive. Watch what I say. Watch what I say. <clears throat> Bump. So check in, man. How was everybody's day today? Ugh. Basically, I prayed for it to freeze, and it happened. Thanks, Kennard. So everybody blame Kennard. This is Kennard's fault that it crashed. Hater. Haters gonna hate. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Y'all just saw your your W shirt. Oh, appreciate that, man. You're killing me, Smalls. Uh, so I, so I am gonna try to come up with some uh some merch. 
uh, for our player, some of these players that we have in our dynasty. So like Ethan, we shocked the system. I think we're gonna come up with something like that. Cool, we on spring break, so you I was chill all day. Just a chill day. That's what's up, man. Yeah, Danny just got off of spring break uh, Monday, so he was he's been back for a couple days now. And then I had Thursday and Friday off uh, to kind of hang out around the house a little bit. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But this is a busy week for your boy, though. Uh, busy, busy week. Kadar, you want to start a clothing brand? What's up, pup? What's up, man? What's up, man? Stop scratching me. Hi. You want to say hi? Come here. Come say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> He's so funny, man. Uh, I think it was the black and gold ones, right? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> mm. Oh, no, it was these. Dang, man, need a dog sitter. I got you. I mean, you don't want dogs at these two. I promise you. They're both crazy. They are both crazy. They are both insane. They they literally fight all day and then they get mad when they're separated from each other. Duke is the Duke is the the little one. That's the worst one. That's the worst one. He like I like I've I've told y'all before, man. He grabs King by the collar and literally walks him everywhere. Bro, I got two German Shepherds and I have to deal with the two litter. Man. I wish I'd have known Huskies were had this much energy. Cause this dude, man, he don't he don't stop. Alright, let's get into it. Let's get into it, boys. They get tails again. I bet they kick this time. Yep. Alright, man, we're gonna see the offense first. Let's go, BT. Let's get it, baby. Uh-oh. Stay up. Ah. Oh, dog. It's it's like when we have to sweep up and everything, it's like sweeping up a whole nother dog. Real talk. We, it's, they both shed like crazy. All right. Here we go. Offense. Let's set the tone early. Danny Mac, first to ten. Nope, you can't catch me. The Heisman winner picks up 13. All right, we got to get him warmed up passing wise. Watch the screen or watch, watch the blitz coming. Nope, they're going coverage. There you go, Polly. Positive yards, Polly. All right, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get the run game going a little bit too. Try to get Polly off to a, a fast start. block go block come on turn that corner Paulie turn that corner Paulie sideline great run great run Paulie great block by 68 at the second level there is what sprung me to the outside man let's go <laughs> Tyree. I mean, you y'all already know, man. I'm so ready for the new game to come out, bro. All right, first to ten. Let's set up this bubble screen. No block. No block. That's on me.
I think we got. I think we're gonna end up handing this one off. Oh, okay. First down, Dan. First down, Dan. Let's go. Let's go. I just be. I just ready to be waiting in line at the shop for the hard copy. Oh, bro. I'm telling you right. I'm getting a hard copy. I'm getting a. If they have like a legends, I'm getting all of it. Oh, he held on to that. Hey, number 40 almost made a play. Let's become a player to, for Chapman. Did he reread re re what you just wrote? All right, let's go, man. Second and goal. Let's go, Paulie. Let's punch this in, baby. Let's punch this in. Let's go, baby. That's how you started off, baby. Toddy. Great opening drive, boys. Let's go. Great opening drive by the offense. Channel points has become a player for 10K. Yep. So you get channel points just for watching. If you're looking at bottom left-hand corner of your uh, chat box, it should tell you how many points you're up to. Got to stay hydrated, man. All right, defense, let's tighten up. Let's tee up. So like I mentioned before, man, we're not going to be in man coverage a lot tonight. Everything's going to be kind of in the zone. They're just a little bit too fast for our corners. Ice cold. What's good, man? Good tackle, Kenneth. I know, but what's become a player mean? I'm going to cover four here. Switch on to Ethan. Oh, I, I did not set up my uh, good tackles. Good tackles. All right, we're gonna make that. We're gonna make that running back beat us. The running back is gonna have to beat us in the run game. Good tackle. Good tackle. We got to find a way to get some pressure up front, man. Allegedly. Canard, uh, have I played Among Us before? Yeah. I really want to play Among Us on stream, like on, on Twitch one night. So Diddy, to become a player, that means become a player in, in either Dynasty, either this Dynasty or in uh, my franchise. I can be a creative player. All right, I'm gonna bring the linebackers in here. There you go, get him out of bounds. Get him out of bounds. Boy, something just happened where the whole house just shook a little bit. Sir Optimus Prime. Oh God. Um, you just gotta you gotta join Discord, Diddy, and put the put your player information in there. All right, let's go. Second and eight. There you go, Glover. Good tackle. Good tackle. Come on, D. All right, we're playing the pass here. Watch the screen. Oh, we. Who was that? Beast Jr. routed up. The one time I go into man coverage.
All right, first to 10. Option. Good tackle, Chaz. Get over here. Come on, man. Uh, this is the PS3 emulator. Let's go. Screen. Get tackle Stevenson. Come on, fly to the ball, defense. And I'm very mad that the, the CPU made me back up on there. All right, third and 15. Let's not give up anything here. Uh, the game just started. He hasn't done anything yet. Let's go. Get over here. Great job by the defense, man. Elliot Roberts with the sack. Making a punt. Making a punt. Great stop, D. Oh. Yeah, I've got both. I've got all the Batman games on um, on Xbox. So I bought the whole Arkham Knight um, series. So at some point, we're definitely going to be playing that. All right, let's go. There you go. How about the new one? No, I haven't got the new one yet. I don't know. Is the new one out for Xbox or is it just a, a PlayStation? It might just be a PlayStation game. All right, here I'm looking for on the I'm looking for the drag right here for Jefferson. Um. Oh wow, that defensive end almost made a play. Holy, he almost made a play. All right, third and short. Let's pick this up real quick. Keep the drive alive. There you go, Pauly. Hey, hey, positive yards. First down. Let's see if they're going to play soft coverage here. Nope, man, cut, man, man, man. Tight man coverage. All right, let's go. First and 10. Oh, that was not towards Lottie, but I'm glad he called it. Caught it first down. I'm not going to tell you that that pass was for the slant route. Whoever was on that slant route. Thought our boy was warmed up. He is not. Well, no, Paulie is. Sheesh. Got bailed out there. Yeah. Run game looking looking real good right now. Let's get it. Come on. Come on, Rob. Get the block. Come on, Rob. To the crib, baby. Great play call, coach. Toddy. Great play call. TD number 61 for Danny Mac breaking Joe Burrow's record. Let's go. For the day, YouTube, Big C, NBA, Michael Jordan, the GOAT. <laughs> Great block by that offensive lineman, man. I know his eyes got big when he saw a corner. Sit him down.
He hasn't done anything yet. He hasn't done anything yet, Beast. Here we go. First to ten. Ah, good block. Good block. <clears throat> you haven't done anything either. They haven't even gone your way. They 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 completed a pass against Beast Jr. Let's go first to ten. They gonna make the tackles. Short gains. Let's do short gains, fellas. We'll bring a little pressure with our strong safety here. Of course they run away from it but great play call great play call you see the blitz coming you go the other way with it great play call all right last time they got this far down they choked it out so let's go first to ten. Oh, we gotta make that play we gotta make those plays ethan come on now Come on, Ethan. Hey, great first quarter for our boys. Great first quarter by the Wildcats. Up by two touchdowns. Defense has to get a stop here, man, so we can blow this game wide open. All right, second and nine. He goes under center three wide. Tight end in motion to the right. Pass. Oh, why, Tyson, why'd you stop running towards him? TC7 is in the building. Tyrell, what's good, my boy? Bro, I hate these mock drafts. They're putting Mr. Sisson. Yeah, they got, they got JJ going like top five, which was crazy. How did he get that, that pitch off? How did he get that pitch off? Wow. Chris was good, man. How did he get that pitch off? Fourteen rushes to two passes for Oklahoma tonight so far. It's second and twelve. Diving catch, but he picks up four. Big third down here, Northwestern. Let's get it. And we're bringing an extra DB here. Pass. They're set up a screen over here. Somebody pick that. Oh, come on, man. We got to pick those off defense. Oh, the Hall of Fame game just announced Chicago versus Houston. I saw that. I hike you want to go. I high key want to go to it. The hotel where we're having a doctor's appointment tomorrow, man. Everything all right, bro? All right, man. I'm going to try a field goal here. Kick is up. It's short. No good. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's take advantage defense or offense. Dan is warmed up. Man, I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. Looking to get our third natty here. No, nope, why'd I throw that? I threw it right to him. That was the worst throw I think I've had. I think that's the worst throw I've had all season. Those jerseys are bad, eh, man? I appreciate it, bro. That throw was awful. Watch that bubble screen out here to the left. 
What I say, man? Good tackle. Good tackle, Addison. We'll stay in it. So far, four, five, ten yards for uh, Lyles. Let's go second and nine. Good tackles. Come on, man. All right, we're going man coverage here. Let's go third down. Leon, full extension, man. Fist up, fourth down. Great play, Leon. You got DJ Moore for us. Remember what the, when you play us at home. Listen, man. D and DJ is a star for us. But I'm still, I'm still upset about the old Justin Field situation. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a, uh, a half Texans, half Bears jersey for that game. All right, so after a great first quarter, we threw an interception to start the second quarter. Second quarter, so uh, let's wake up here. Yeah, Dana Kelsey style. <laughs> Good Lord. BT, you did a horrible job blocking right there, my boy. Can I bring him in motion? I can. The block. Oh, get out the way. There's so much green in front of us, man, but we'll take the first down. God, there was so much green. You thought I got over it? Why would I get over it, man? My favorite player got traded away, bro. Oh my God. Airmailed that one, sheesh. He actually had a step there too. See, this is the thing I hate about these sliders, man. You got to get them warmed up. And the only way to really get them warmed up is by throwing, like, little screen passes. Now it's starting forever. You got to get more CJ stuff. I got to get something with CJ on it. Like, high key, I wish I could get, like, Nothing but Ohio State players, jerseys and stuff. That would be so daggone expensive. Let's go, third and 12. Gotta slide down. Gotta slide down. <coughs> um, I think we go for it. I said I got over it. Uh, I lied. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Let's go, baby. That's a toddy. Woo. As soon as that, that corner came down, I saw BT wide open, baby. What a throw. Come on, man. Three touchdown lead, boys. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> 
Our squad is this is a this is probably the best team that we've put together, man. Defensively, I think we're strong at each level. Offensively, it's hard for us to beat. Jay Lonnie was good, man. Wish we would tackle better though. Okay, let's get it. What y'all think about K dot the uh Kendrick Lamar verse? How I feel about the NFL changes? I'm interested to see about these this kickoff return. Oh, over pursuit. Uh oh, good tackle. Or did you save the touchdown, my boy? Hey yo. He was out of there. Uh, I'm interested to, interested to see what this kickoff return is going to look like now. And uh, I like the idea of them not having that, that tackle anymore, that drop the hip tackle. Let's go. Mama, there goes that man. Mama, there goes that man. man, left, man left. All right, they come out two tight ends. Pitch. <laughs> Ethan with back to back plays. He's starting to get warmed up. I need Drake to get in his bag. Like. Hey, I'm telling you right now, J. Cole is about to go crazy. Here we go, third and 15. I'm playing the screen. No screen, slants. Oh, great defense, y'all. Great defense, boys. Fourth down, fist up. Let's go, man. I think if we put up one more touchdown, that's game time. Get a good return here, B. Good blocks. Same bad. Hey, go. Good return. All right, man. Let's get our boy Lonnie going. There you go, Lonnie. First catch. First catch for 16. Oh, it's the second catch. Okay. That's right. He caught the uh, the air throw. Yo, is it bad wet drinks was spot on it's for me? <laughs> I think it was spot on for a lot of people, bro. Oh, what a dot. What a dot to JJ on the sideline. First and goal. That makes it first and goal. Um, where's Lonnie lined up? There it is. Man, they're double teaming Lonnie over here. I brought him on a blitz. Oh, get a field. Ah. We got to make that slant into the end zone, baby. You cut that a little bit too short. Wifey's in the building, y'all. Shout out to Wifey. All right, let's go, man. Second and goal. Dan keeps it in. He'll get it to the end zone. Toddy. Tell Brody I said what's happening. And then he just broke the rushing touchdown record this season, too, man. 23 rushing touchdowns. Let's go, Danny. Terrell, what's good, man? Hey, bro. Listen, ready is not the word. I'm like itching to play that game. 
I love 14. 14 is always going to have a special place in my heart, man, but it is definitely time for something new. And uh, when it comes out, I think it's in July, this channel is going to go crazy. I can feel it. I can feel it. Until then, man, we're going to have fun playing this. Uh, we're going to rock with this. I, I don't know if we're going to rock with this team for much longer, but we're going to rock on this game for a little bit longer. Way to break it up. That's Beast on the play. Oh, yeah, he's on fire. Let's go. Good tackle. Come on, Hall. You got your team that you're eyeing already? Yeah, I've got probably like three or four that I'm eyeing already, bro. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Watch the screen. I'd be shocked if they hiked this. Transfer portal might be a B word to learn, though, in this new game. Facts. But that's, that's going to be the fun part about it. What I call? What I say? Oh, no, I over pursued it. Oh, good tackle. Time out. Oh, man. I over pursued it. I got lost. I didn't see where he was at. Sheesh. Hey, defense is putting the clamps on these boys, man. All right, if we get a field goal out of here, we're going to be good. When you was playing with Syracuse, my cousin was one of the original players on the team. Is that right? That's kind of dope, man. That's kind of dope. I, um, yeah, the Syracuse, the Syracuse one, I think I got rid of that one too quick. I think I at that time I was burnt out playing the game. Um, but like, I don't know. I feel like this series is kind of rejuvenized, re-energized me, I guess. On 14, the timeout, man. We're dying up. We're dying up right now. BT. A. I was just hoping for a field goal. We might get a tutty out of this, boys. Amari, let's see if you can get, if you can do something here. Nope. Oh, almost picked off. All right, one more, one more. We got time for one more play. I was going to go in front of him a little bit. Arkansas something was one of my favorite teams. Oh, Arkansas State. Yeah, Arkansas State was another good one, man. That one was fun because uh, that was the school I went to. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Oh, the A&M one? Arkansas A&M? By far, Arkansas A&M was, was like my favorite series that I've ever done. By far. I put a lot of time and effort into that one, man. Arkansas and them Grambling was another good one. One of these days we're gonna like I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take a Sunday probably, and we're gonna go back and watch like my first couple videos that we did. So like my first ever video was an Ohio State Dynasty video. So we'll probably go back and watch that. We'll probably go back and watch the AM's first episode, Grambling's first episode. Yes, sir. Good tackles. Good tackles. Going into halftime, boys. Up. Shutting these boys out. Hold on. Text some white for y'all. Hey man, we putting we putting our foot on these boys next. Are we gonna get a shutout in the national championship, yo? 
Are we going to get a shutout in the natty? Two shutouts in the playoff is crazy. We've only allowed 93 yards so far. I imagine they're going to come out and try to throw the ball a lot here. Good tackle. Was that Ethan? Hold on, do I hit the button? Oh, he got a yard. We can't hit the button. That brings up second and nine. Can't hit the button yet. He's got to get a sack. When he gets a sack, then we can hit the button. Good coverage downfield, though, boys. Let's go. Now we can hit the button. Sack number two for S. T S. Listen, man, we're just playing stock man coverage. We got third and ten. Another screen. Come on, Chaz, get him, get baby. Fist up. Try to run that garbage screenplay again. We're all over it. Oh, six, you're playing with Southeast Louisiana. Wow. Oh, BT. Holy. Come on, BT. Shout out to Addison being Johnny on the spot there. Hey, man, we've taken these boys' hearts, man. Let's go. First to ten. Good tackle. Good tackle. I juke right into him. It's a white Jamal. Why'd you spin? Where's Penix been placed? And then where for JJ? Uh, they said McCarthy was supposed to go top five. I saw a mock that had him going to Arizona. Of all places, right? And I think Penix is supposed to be like a second round. Second round pick, maybe? Late first? That's all oh, good run, Pauly. Nay, probably Stephen or Mike. <laughs> I want Kev to get off here. I want Morgan to get off this jam. If Taylor's open, this might be a touchdown. Nope. Just take off, Dan. Cut off field. There you go, JJ. There you go, JJ. First to go, baby. Come on. Side note, Casper, I saw your uh I saw your message in Discord. I got you. Roll. Baby, let's go. That's another one. That's Satani. J J Casper. Let's go, man. We are playing lights out. We are playing lights out right now. Prime, what's good, my boy? JJ top 10, Penix top 20. I can see it. I, I'm just not a big fan of JJ McCarthy. I'm going to be honest with you. I think every year there's that one quarterback that they just kind of hype up. And it's this year is J.J. McCarthy. I, I, I get he only had one loss in his college career, but look at the team he had around him. We get it. You're a Buckeye guy. It's not even that, bro. 
Come on, man. Let's go. First and ten. Oh, boy. We all over these boys. Over let's go, Vegas. We are all over these boys. Prime, we're doing great tonight, man. We're doing great tonight. As you can see by the score, our Wildcats are dominating. JJ is overrated. Facts. And people don't want to hear that, but it's okay. Second and 15. Draw. I went the wrong way. There you go. At Mich as a Michigan fan, I kind of agree. We had a stacked defense unit, a great running back core, wide receiver core, dominant O-line. I mean, I just I don't I don't see how he's gonna be a great quarterback in the NFL. Not top five. Oh my gosh! Somebody, hello! Come on, man! The hell was that? Yeah, he didn't have to do too much. Says the Ohio State fan, laugh out loud. Come on, man. He reminds you of Ken Dorsey from Miami. Yeah, I can see that. That's a great comp. All right, man, we are absolutely dominating at this point. First to ten. Oh, why come back? Why cut back like that? Big blow, baby. Uh. Lonnie. Lonnie, get off of me. Get off of me, little boy. Great job extending the play. Hey, Terrell, appreciate you coming through, man. Lonnie, did Lonnie get a touchdown yet? No. Trying to get off our, all of our playmakers a touchdown in this game. Because it might be the last time they all be together. Oh, he almost caught that one handed. I'm like, hey, Jaylani, I'm tripping. You already know what we got to do. Oh, we can't do it now. You're out the game. Next time down, you know what we got to do. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. <laughs> That's another one. Tony. Wow. Another one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Taylani. Next time we go down, that's what we're throwing up. How you feeling about your Buckeyes this upcoming season, man? I, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, we've got a lot of weapons. We got a lot of weapons. We just need to make sure our quarterback and offensive line do what they're supposed to do. Honestly, uh, defensively, the boys are stacked. Everybody came back for their senior year. So it's like the last run. This put me at QB of that team. I promise I win the Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> How's the defense looking, man? Pitching a shutout. Only giving up 84 yards today. This has been one of the most dominating performances we've had all year. Oh, good hit. You got to wrap up, though. Ethan better not declare. He probably will. He probably will. I think we're going to lose a lot of guys to, to the draft this year. We're going to have, a, I, I guarantee you, we're going to have a lot of holes to fill. There he goes again. Come 
Come on, man. That's a bad boy. They are one of eight on third down. Let's go, D. Screen. Oh, good block. Good block. Addison, you having a good game, bro. Eight tackles. Good tackle. Oh, that's not a sack, though. Oh, I'm just hoping we whoop both UCLA and USC for joining our conference, man. I, listen, and Oregon. Ohio State plays Oregon like I think in week three next year. Whip him. I hope so, man. First to ten. They killed us with that draw play. Oh, shoot. That's on me. I lost containment there. I lost containment there. Um, oh, yeah. Hey, listen. Heisman QBs. Quarterbacks on Heisman level, boy. They throw stiff arms. They trucking folks. Look at that. Trucking folks. Have a chat with your team now, facts. I think everybody's just a little tired. You know what I'm saying? We've been... Oh, they hurt. We hurt their quarterback. We hurt their quarterback. Oh, come on, Ethan. They ain't got no heart. We're pitching a shutout. Shut up, Tyree. <laughs> All right, Lyles is back. Lyles is back. Oh. Fellas, he's tired. We got to make him fumble. We got to make him fumble. Are we about to give up the shutout? We can't give up the shutout, boys. We gave up the shutout. No. Ah. Uh. We gave up the shutout. Good drive for them. Lala is in the building. No heart, Big C. Shut up. All right, man. Can't let them get momentum now. Cannot let them get momentum. Oh, oh, <laughs> my team, we're giving up 10 points in the season. That's it. Listen, they won't score again, man. Let's go. Four's up. Four's up. We are one quarter away from bringing our third national championship back to Evanston. We are completely dominating this Oklahoma team. 45 to 7. Let's keep the, our foot on their necks, y'all. I think we got to get our seniors in here, too. We got to get, get TC7 some run. Oh, oh, Dan. Oh, Dan was almost out of there. Let's 
This looks like the USC Bama game from a few years back. Yes, sir. Three years in a row, man. Oh, my God. Get open. Somebody get open. Actually, this is basically TCU versus Bama. All right, la la, don't worry, no worries. I appreciate you coming to hang out tonight. Yeah, we built, we've built a powerhouse, man. Oh, get out, get out of here, Pauly. Oh, you're now a center. You get all the rebounds, black shots. Oh, and flag? Okay. Are you blocking people? Good tackle. Good tackle. Um. I think Paulie can go for one more run. There you go. First down, Paulie. First down, Paulie. You know I am. That's what I'm talking about. All right, man. Let's get Francois. Playing every 2K in my center is a beast. Let's go. I was thinking about download 2K. 2K is free on Xbox right now. I was thinking about playing it, but I've heard nothing but terrible things about 2K this year. Oh, I was trying to lead him to that back corner let's go let's pick this up man darn short that was a nasty move first down don't do it it's trash Your first game's in two weeks. Okay, Lala. Oh, get out. Oh, what a catch. What a catch, Lottie. Ho, 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 what a catch. Tiptoeing backwards on the grab. Let's go. Yes. Yeah, the reason I was going to get 2K was for, like, the franchise and stuff like that. All right, let's see if we can get it here. Oh, you froze. Come on now. Your, your favorite route is the, is the fly? Yeah, mine too. All right, here we go. Second and go. We gonna get it. We gotta get one more. There's the jam. There it is. Let's go, baby. Toddy. Finally. Bye, Lala. Have a good night, Joe. Tell everybody we said hello. Come on, man. LJ, the big fader.
Oh my god, look how we're just dominating, man. Three more plays and 300 yards more of total offense. All right, let's go. Picked off Leon Sandcastle. Come on, baby. Come on, defense. <laughs> he jumped the slant. Let's go. Uh, yeah, man, we're going to, this is what we're going to do, man. It's what we're going to do. Great job by the first team. Oh, great job by the first team offense. Second team offense was run. Let's go, man. Let's get our boy TC7 some touches, yo. He helped get us here. It's his senior year. Let's go. Let's go. I'm I actually think go uh, we 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 might lose. We we might lose both quarterbacks at the end of this year. I actually think that. I think Danny will declare. I think I know TC7 is gone. I'm nervous. I'm nervous going into this offseason, man. Uh oh. Almost got that spin move off. Almost in the end zone. Woo! So let's look at who we're going to be losing this year. Probably losing Lonnie this year. We're losing Pauly this year. TC7 might. TC7 is gone. Danny might go. Casper's gone. Uh, I think we're losing one offensive lineman. BT is gone this year. Defensively, we might lose shock. Um, Leon is gone this year. Um, who else is gone? I think that's it, really, on the defense side of the ball. It's it. We could be losing a lot of impact players on this team, man. And right, let's get TC7 a touchdown here. Send him out the right way. Let's go, TC. Let's go, baby. Toddy. I read that completely wrong. He just stiff armed his way into the end zone. TC seven. Let's go, man. So remember, fellas, right after this, we're going to be doing the offseason, so don't go nowhere. And let's do this, man. The starting defense did a great job. They deserve a standing ovation as they come off the field. All the backups are in the game now. We'll get to see a lot of the younger guys. Oh, you got to make that tackle. You got to make that tackle. At least make a play on the ball.
Prime time. Screen to this side. Come on, get over here. Elliot Roberts with his second sack today. Yes, sir. Mm. He didn't drop that. He didn't drop that. Put hat on ball. That should have been a drop. Let's go, man. Third and 13. Yes, sir. Run that clock. Run that clock. Run that clock. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Three in a row, baby. Let's go, man. Wow. Appreciate you, Gandy, man. All right, Beast. Appreciate you coming through tonight, man. Was that the Natty already? Didn't you finish the season like four days ago? Uh, nah, it's been it's been a it's been a couple weeks. So obviously the college football season goes way faster than the NFL, right? Because you've got only, what, 15 games? So compared to 17, 18 in the NFL. So and plus, I think the games on the NFL side are a, lo a little bit longer. Let's go, man. Let's go back to back to back. Let's take a look at these stats real quick. I got to fix my screens. Side right, side right, side right, side right, side right. All right, man. Danny Mac, your Heisman Award winner comes out and does it big again. This time in the natty. 19 of 29, 319 yards, five passing touchdowns. He did have that one mistake, that interception early in the game. On the ground, Paul Nelson in his last game in a Wildcats uniform. 10 carries, 94 yards in the touchdown. Danny Mack, 8 carries, 63 yards in the touchdown. Francis, 4 carries for 28 yards. TC7 in his last game as a Wildcat. 3 carries, 25 yards, and a score. Uh, out wide, Lonnie Jefferson led the way. 6 grabs, 100 yards in the touchdown. I honestly think this would be his last game as a Wildcat as well. Paulie, 4 for 20. BT in his last game, four catches, 95 yards, and two scores. JJ Casper in his last game, three catches, 64 yards, and a score. Francis had one catch, 33 yards, and a touchdown. And Morgan in his last game, only one catch for seven yards. We are losing a lot of wide receivers, yo. Holy. We're losing a right guard, too, Chris Williams. Defense side of the ball, Addison led the way, nine tackles in the TFL. Uh, Ethan Shock, Shock. The system, five tackles, five TFLs, four sacks. Chaz Vade, four tackles, two TFLs, one sack. Kenneth Orange had four tackles. Uh, Anthony Hall had four. You had Eli or Elliot Roberts with three. Uh, TJ with three. Uh, sack department, man, we got after him. This defense locked him up tonight, boys. Locked him up. Ethan, like I mentioned, four sacks. Elliot had four, uh, two, ta or two sacks. Vegas and Vinay each with one. Uh, Leon had an interception. Three pass breakups. Did we force a fumble? No fumbles forced. Uh, Jake in his last game kicked a 40-yard field goal. It was good. 
We didn't punt. I mean, this team played lights out tonight, yo. Lights out. Yeah, we're doing the offseason next, bro. And I, I'm, man, three in a row is crazy. Wow. I mean, and look how consistent we are in scoring, man. 14 in the first, 17 in the second, 14 in the third, 14 in the fourth. We held them to 69 yards, giggity, passing, 116 yards on the ground. Like, this defense, I, I as much as credit as I give to the offense, this game was all about the defense. It's okay for Derek Adams Jr. to, to a receiver next year or no, he needs to stay at corner because I think we're losing a couple corners. It'd be funny if my player decides to go pro. Nah, it wouldn't be funny. Look at that, man. We add another one. That's three in a row. Yes, sir. Three in a row. National champs. And we get the pretty trophy to go with it. Let's go. Now we can sim it up. Or actually, uh, I need to save. I need to save. Yep. And we need to back out of here. I'm going to go full screen. Let me open this bad boy up here. Bum, 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 bum. Boom. You love to see it. Um, you love to see it for the third time in a row. Our Northwestern Wildcats are your national champs, man. We played our best football at the end of the year. And look what Oakland, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, we really clamped them down because they put up 59 points against South Carolina. And we turned around, put 59 points on them. JP, what's good, man? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Bow, 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 bow. We could sim ahead. Outcast, what's good, my man? Let's get ready for this offseason, y'all. Again, I think this might be arguably the most stressful offseason of this dynasty. Not knowing who's going to be coming back. Not knowing who might transfer. Uh, not, not a thing. Broski just got a crown dub on Fortnite. My duo partner had 23 kills. Good Lord, bro. If I could only get hat, like a third of that. All right, big shout out to Danny Mac. We're about to see a bunch of records broken, y'all. Danny Mac, 205 QB rating for the season. That's an uh, all-time record. Ethan Shock has 80 sacks for his career. That's 30 more, almost 30 more than what Derek Thomas had uh, as an Alabama Crimson Tide. Shout out to Danny with 65 touchdown passes this season. Breaks Joe Burrow's record. Of 60. Big shout out to Ethan again. Breaking the season uh, sack record. 38 sacks. Which is 11 more than uh, what Derek Thomas had. Does Lonnie get that first rounder? I think Lonnie does go first round now. Ethan breaking his own record. The school record. 38 sacks. Danny Mack. 24 rushing touchdowns. Breaks Damian Anderson's record. Of 23 rushing touchdowns, passing yards in the season. Danny Mac 5,689 passing yards. Uh, I mean, that's almost a thousand more. That's crazy. 65 touchdowns was a record for Northwestern. 103 total touchdowns. North, I mean, he's just shattering everything. Shock breaks his own record. I mean, come on, man. Shout out, to, shout out to Coach, man. He gets two upgrades. 
Um, okay, I like it. All right, let's end the season, man. Hold on, let's look at the roster real quick. I want to look at the roster. Let's see who we're who we're losing potentially. All right. So like I mentioned, Danny is eligible to declare for the draft, which I think could happen, especially after the season he just had. TC is already gone because he graduates. So that means we have Jeff Cameron and we have Brett Jackson as our quarterbacks going into next year. If Danny Mac declares running back room, Paul graduates. Francis is back. Johnson is off his red shirt, which I think I think Johnson might be our number one running back next year. And then Kevin Stanley is back for his uh, junior year. Don't worry about the fullback. We never use him. We're losing a lot here in the wide receiver room. Kevin Morgan. I think Lonnie declares JJ is gone. Brian Taylor is gone. So we've, we'll get Ke uh, Gavin Cole off his red shirt. Uh, Amari Hendricks will be here. Trent Barnes is gone. Uh, KJ Washington will be back and then Wendell Grant. So we could be losing a lot at wide receiver tight end room. Josh Thompson graduates. We get D boom and Anderson and Ali back. Uh, we'll have a new uh, left tackle this year. Uh, left guard. We're good center. We're good. We'll lose Chris Williams at right guard. Bonner should step in there, or we're going to kick Darius Dove inside to play right guard since we're getting a new right tackle. Yeah, we definitely got to stack up on that wide receiver room uh, in the next off in the next season. Uh, I think Ethan declares uh, 90 overall. I think he has to go to the league. He's got 81 awareness, too, so I think he does declare. Uh, Leslie is back. Jonas Huff is coming off his red shirt, and then we got Sean Oliver coming off his red shirt, too. Uh, Chaz, I think, stays another year. Uh, Mike Gay will see a lot of playing time next year. Quentin still should start to, to get into the rotation. And then we got Jerry Grant or Jerry Gant. Uh, BJ Blige graduates. Carlos Mays graduates. Tommy Sutherland graduates. That's three D tackles. Holy three of our best defensive linemen gone. But we get TJ back for his junior year. Alonzo Lucas will be uh, be there and then Elliot Roberts. So I think we'll have TJ and Elliot Roberts start next year. Uh, linebacking group. I think we're good here. Marlon Glover will graduate. Yeah, that's the only one. Cornerback room will lose Leon. I think Kellen Stevens is six around. Beast, I think six around. And that's it, man. We're still young in the corner room. Free safety. We're good. Strong safety, we, leave, we lose TJ Randall. And then we lose our kicker and our punter, man. So a lot of firepower gone, fellas. A lot of firepower. Man. All right, so back-to-back -back perfect years for us, man. Uh, I know it doesn't say it here, but we went 16 and 0 the past two seasons. Uh, start of the off season, and it's always the coaching carousel. Again, I don't. Uh, Darnell Autry isn't going anywhere. All player stats. Am I, are we gonna be able to see everybody's stats? I think so, because CC is still up here. Uh, so everybody wants to see the player stats. Danny Mac, what a year, man. Oh, here, I'll move up here so you guys can see it a little bit more. There we go. What a year for Danny Mac. Almost five, almost 5,700 passing yards. He had 65 touchdowns to 22 interceptions. Uh, he averaged 355 yards per game. Uh, 71 completion percentage. He was sacked 18 times, man. It's about it's a, it, well, stuff. See, make sure. on the ground. He had almost 1500 yards with 24 rushing touchdowns. Uh, he was a true, a true dual threat quarterback for us. Paulie, he goes over a thousand yards in his senior campaign. 
I think that's the first time he went a thousand. Yeah, we got him towards a thousand. <coughs> Fourteen rushing touchdowns. Francis had a good start to the season, but then he kind of fizzled out at the end. Three ninety six and eight scores. TC seven. Uh, 179 and three touchdowns. He had a great career here, man. Um, unfortunately, he lost his starting job at the end of last season. And honestly, it was because he just played like he just played real poor down the stretch. Uh, will you be rebuilding Northwestern in NCAA 25? Uh, I'm not sure. But, uh, is it Bedwar? 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 I'm not sure. Uh, I've got a couple other teams in mind. Um, but TC7 exploded on the scene his sophomore year and helped us win the national championship then. I mean, 621 yards, 13 rushing touchdowns. Another great dual threat quarterback here. Um, I'm excited to see what he could do at the next level. Uh, wide receiver room. We had two. Oh, we had two guys go over 1,000 yards this year, man. Shout out to Lonnie. 71 grabs, almost 1,100 yards, 17 touchdowns. J.J. Casper, the not-so-friendly ghost, 65 grabs, 1058, and nine scores. Lonnie uh, just got better each year, man. Uh, 51 grabs, 58 grabs, 71 grabs. Uh, numbers went down his sophomore year, uh, but came back his junior year and finished the job. I mean, good Lord. 17 receiving touchdowns is crazy. B had one. Yeah, behead worlds. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at uh, breaking stuff down like that. Uh, JJ Casper, uh, 55 grabs, 744. His freshman year or his sophomore year. I'm, his junior year, 61 grabs, 1,171 yards. And then his senior year, 65 grabs, 1058, and nine scores. Uh, he was a great slot receiver for us, man. Uh, again, another one of those players that the impact is going to be sorely missed. Missed. Paulie out the backfield, 52 grabs, 470, and five scores. BT, he was supposed to be back next year for us. But we took the red shirt off of him, 39 grabs, 661, seven scores. Uh, last year, he just went crazy, thirteen hundred, almost 1,300 yards, 18 touchdowns. Uh, but this year, man, he had a terrible offseason, so we were like, put the red shirt on him. But we were missing him on the field. He was like that missing piece for us. And, um, you know, sucks to see him go, but, hey, it's the next man up. Kevin Morgan, 38 grabs, 872, 10 scores. He was another one of those guys that, uh, I was trying to get the ball to a lot. Um, I mean, last year, I didn't even realize that. 930 yards last year, seven scores, 10 touchdowns this year. Another good wide receiver. Man, we really had some ballers in the wide receiver room. Amari Hendricks, we got to work on his catching. 29 grabs, 6, 6, 633 and five scores this year. Uh, Aaron Anderson, the tight end, 25 grabs, 454 and six scores. He should be the starting tight end next year. I think he's a starting tight end next year. Uh, Francis out of backfield, 134 and three scores. Uh, Thompson, 326 and a touchdown. D Boom will be back, 114 and two scores. Uh, Barnes had 106 yards and two scores. Ali with two grabs and Stanley with one catch. Offensive line, everybody's back next year, minus our right guard, um, which we have a plan in place for. So uh, he should get drafted too. Uh, defensively, uh, man, these boys at the end of the year play crazy. Addison with 90 tackles. Ethan had 89. Sandcastle with 68. Orange with 59. Beast had 56. Hall with 50. Vinay, 47. Stevenson, 42. Beast Jr. with 39. TJ has 38. Randall with 35. Marlon Glover with 31. Kerry had 28. Tyson with 26. And Carlos May had 17. Roberts with 17. And BJ with 9. Um, sack department, Ethan, 38 sacks on the season. 38 sacks on the season. That's the most insane number I've seen. TJ had 12 sacks. Roberts with nine. Vinay had nine. Mays and Hall each with four. Sutherland and Kerry each with two. We had Glover, Randall, Beast Jr., Leslie, Blige, and Beast all with one. Interception department, Sandcastle led the way with six picks. 
Anthony Hall with four. Orange, Randall, and Beast each with three. Stevenson had two. Beast Jr. with one. Prime, Prime didn't have anything this year? Wow. You only had six tackles this year, Prime. You'll get a lot more playing time now that everybody's graduating, though. Um, deflections. Sandcastle and Stevenson led the way. We only forced a handful of fumbles this year. How many touchdowns? Uh, Aaron, Anthony Hall with two picks. Uh, Beast Jr. had a pick six. Brian Taylor with a kick six, I think. And then Shock had a scoop and score. Jake finished 10 of 11 on field goals. Perfect on extra points. Oh, he missed one extra point. Huh. Only put the ball 12 times. Uh, return game, Brian Taylor, 35 returns, 868 yards. Uh, and then punt return, 37 returns for 537 and a touchdown. So, man, crazy stats. I mean, we, we kind of set the bar across the board, man. You barely played. I think you'll get a lot more playing time uh, going into next season, though. Yeah. All right. Coach of Carousel, like I mentioned, coach isn't going anywhere. So we can go ahead and jump to players leaving. Uh, make sure I don't open up players leaving. So we got to take it into the end, to the, what's call it? The Dynasty Hub. Yeet. My wife hates that, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. Now, the last two seasons, man, we have lost both of our coordinators. So I would not be shocked if we lost them again. Yep, we got new offensive and defensive coordinators. The man's name is Adam Lee. Okay, let's go. Um, new coach is Mike Blausch. Blausch. Okay, and then Adam Lee. Blausch and Lee. Okay. Let's see where they came from. Old coach. Oh, God. What was his first name? Boom, boom. Mike Blausch and Adam Lee. So we can go Adam Lee first. Can we? Oh, no, it's ACC. I need to go NCA. All right, so we get Adam Lee from Wisconsin. He was a defensive coordinator at Wisconsin. They were D plus prestige. A yo. Okay. And then Mike Blausch. Came from... Texas Tech. Hey, he was a D minus. So now we go into an air raid system now. Okay. So we got to remember that Texas Tech is our playbook now. Uh, let's change that now then before I forget. Do do. Edit coach. And Texas Tech. Air raid offense. And thankfully, we get to stay in our, our base 4 3. Thankfully. All right. So here comes the scary part, man. We got to hop into players leaving. Let me open up this in the Dynasty Hub. I'm not going to look. Oh, I'm sweating. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. 
Danny Mac declares. Lonnie Jefferson declares. Ethan Shock declares. And Dwayne Roberson, outside linebacker, wants to transfer. I I knew it was gonna happen. I I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. He is so sad right now. I, bro, it wasn't up to me. I'm not gonna do that. Dan is a first round pick. Kevin Morgan's a first round pick. Lonnie Jefferson, first round pick. Ethan Shock, first round pick. JJ goes second round. Paulie goes third round. Leon's gonna go fifth round, and then Brian Taylor goes sixth round. No, TC7 graduated. Right? Where's he at? Oh, they don't have him on here. That's weird. Who's gonna be our quarterback now? We've got one guy left on the roster. You don't have 50,000 points. You got the points. Oh my God. All right, how do I save here? <laughs> Mac Daniel? <laughs> There's something wrong with you. Did it? Let me make sure it's saved. I think it's just saved, auto save, right? Oh man, that's tough. Time to make a new player be the next starting quarterback. Yeah, that's tough, man. We could persuade him to stay, but sheesh. Oh, TC7 goes first round, too. TC7 goes first round. So Danny, Lonnie, Ethan, uh, Kevin Morgan, and TC7 all go first round. You got JJ Gold in second round. Two first round quarterbacks, man. That's crazy. Um, Paulie goes third round, Sandcastle fifth, Brian Taylor goes sixth round. <gasps> Excuse me, y'all. I mean, listen, that's a hell of a draft class, y'all. That's an amazing draft class. Yeah, I mean, we persuaded Lonnie last year to come back. Because I think he was going to be like a third rounder last year. Um, but I, I think we got to let these three walk, bro. I think we got to let them go. It's time to bring in a new regime. I mean, look at his numbers, bro. He's almost thrown for 10,000 yards in two years. Made Danny Mac and Madden 24. Uh, oh, he's out of there. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, it'd be one thing if, like, if, if Danny was to declare and he was like a fifth rounder, I would try to talk him back into coming back. But he's going he's gonna be probably the number one pick, right? Lonnie will be a first like a top ten pick. Ethan will be a top five pick. So, you know, like when it's like that, you gotta let him walk. Getting drafted before the draft. <laughs> Much respect to Northwestern. One day they will win the national title. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that one, Dark Sage. I don't know about that one, bro. Oh, we're losing so much. We're losing so much, man. Dan for number one pick. Dan first round. Kevin first round. Lonnie first round. Polly, Polly snuck into the first round. Polly sneaks into the first round. Ethan's in the first round. JJ's in the second round. TC falls to the third round. Sandcastle's the fifth round, BT in the seventh. Mays gets drafted too. He goes in the seventh round. Yeah, 
Yeah, with well, broadcast, we'll let you see, use AI to let you see what you want. <laughs> All right, let's see transfer requests. Probably no transfer requests. Yeah. All right, man, time for recruiting. Honestly, I think we have one player left on our board. Um, we got recruiting done pretty quick um, this past season. Um, I think we have a really good staff, a really good recruiting class coming in, and this will be the last year that we don't get to recruit. This is it. Like next year, going into this next season, we can start recruiting four and five star prospects. Um, let's look at the off. Let's look at the the um, class so far. We were able to pick up a tackle in Dorian Henderson, six six two ninety seven, three star prospect, JUCO player, and honestly. I think he's our starting left tackle next year. Uh, 90 pass block, 84 run block, 84 impact block. His strength needs some work, though. Um, but this kid is, is going to be something special for us. And then we got Perry Darlin from Ohio, 6'4", 251, three-star prospect. And he's a gem. Comes in as an 86 overall with 90 pass block, 90 run block, 74 impact block. Uh, I'm thinking about putting him at right tackle with 87 strength, and then we move uh, Darius over to play right guard. Um, so we've got our bookend tackles going into next year. Uh, we were able to get a punter in Skylar Morgan from Montana, six foot 195. Or is that Montana? Oh, it's Missouri. I'm sorry, Missouri. 91 kick power, 61 kick accuracy. That's solid for us. Uh, at middle linebacker, bringing in more depth with Sean Crowder from South Carolina. 5'11", 227. 82 speed, 72 tackle, 76 hit power. He's got a 78 finesse move with 84 block shots. So really good off of getting, getting off of blocks. Um, then at corner, we got Quentin Sullivan from Ohio, 6'183". He's got 89 speed with 77 man, 81 zone. 94 acceleration, though, with 75 press. Uh, another corner is Daniel Daniel Varner, 66 overall. He's 6'1", 169 from New Jersey. Uh, he's got 92 speed with 81 zone and 63 press. Another middle linebacker in K.J. White, 6'2", 216, three-star from California. I liked him because he got 80 speed, 84 acceleration. Needs some tackling, though. Darius just uh redeemed his points on Twitch to become a player. Make sure you head over to Discord and put your player info in there for me, bro. Uh 70 man coverage is what I liked a lot too. Outside linebacker Bay Ron Shisu uh from New Jersey 62209 three star prospect uh 81 tack 81 speed 81 tackle got has a great power and finesse move uh, solid block set. What is he? Six two two oh nine. I mean, we could use him as a pass rusher next year if we have if we don't have one. I uh, picked up another D tackle and Marcus Thigpen, six foot two ninety one from Georgia, uh, fifty two speed, but he's got an eighty nine power move and seventy seven block set with seventy four tackle, eighty one pursuit. So another good defensive tackle for us. Uh, Adrian Washington at wide receiver. He's six three two thirteen from Mississippi. 90 speed, 84 acceleration, 71 catch, 71 route running. So uh, kind of a project player, but I like the 90 speed for him. At free safety, we've got Mohammed Motley, uh, 73 overall, 6 foot 196 from Louisiana. 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 84 agility. Coverage ability needs some work, but he's got solid press and solid hit power. <clears throat> a defensive end, uh, Ethan Schrabel. 6'5", 245 from Michigan, 69 speed, 77 acceleration, 77 finesse move with 77 block shed. So, hey, we're getting block, we're getting off of blocks and we're getting after quarterbacks. He's going to be a solid player helping us uh, replace what Ethan just left. And then we got Hank Taylor at kicker, 5'11", 197 from California, uh, 80 kick power, 72 kick accuracy. And then we've got a Anrian Harris. Uh, 6'5", 233, defensive event from Kentucky, our last player on the board. 88 power move, 79 block shed with 64 speed. A lot of you guys are asking about quarterback. We did not get a quarterback in this class. Um, there were no good quarterbacks that were interested in us. Uh, so we're running with the two QBs that we have on the roster already. But we're putting all our points in the Harris 
uh, to build up that defensive line. Um, we have how many players on our board right now? 14 players. We could try to see if we could get a late quarterback, but I doubt that's going to work. I mean, we can try. We can try. We are, we're allowed 15 players to recruit. Um, the problem is they're going to be all trash. Let's see what these two are. Let me take some of the points off of him. So we got Damien O'Banner. Ew. He is 6'4", 215 from Michigan. And then this is Craig Shields from Mississippi. 6'5", 197. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got to go. We got to go Damien. How far behind are we for him? 350. I'll put five in. So I'll put. I'm going to put. Let's put eight into Harris. You know, let's go nine five into Harris. And then for Damien, he's a Juco. We'll put 53.50 into him. Actually, you know what? Okay. I think that's good, man. I think that's good. We need to bring in an extra quarterback. Actually. No, we need that. We need a true freshman. Um, let's take him off. I just made you just made your player. Let's see, let's see what he came up with, y'all. Darius Dove. He plays quarterback. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Um, let's go. Let's go Craig Shields. We need a true freshman. This guy is coming in as a junior. So we'll take him and we'll put all the points into him. like it i like it so you know so darius you know your guy is only gonna come in he's gonna be like a 70 overall once once i do all the upgrades and all that stuff i think we should get both of them let's hope we get both of them i think we should i don't think that a team is gonna put in that many points to have a 55 overall quarterback i'm gonna be honest with you There we go. We got both of them, y'all. We got both of them. Am I on the right screen? Nope, I am surely not. Uh, My fault. Hold on, y'all. There we go. I was like, I'm not on the right screen. All right, so we're able to steal a prospect. I'm cool with that. We're going to have a great O-line. We got a four star. What four star did we get? We should have any four stars. 
It said we got a four star. There's, I don't think we had any four stars. All of them were three stars. Hold on, let's look at this. Let's look at signing the top classes. Hey, yo, we did get two. What two got four stars? Bonner and War. I didn't sign those guys. Who are they? They're not on my list. Look at this. There's no Bonner or War on our list. Y'all can't see that. Hold on. Yeah, but that messes up what we're doing, man. We're we're only allowed to recruit three stars and under. But we got Yeah, this Yeah, they're adding players for us. Okay. They add they're adding players. But now, I mean, now that now that our um, our um, our restrictions are over, now we can start recruiting four and five star prospects now. All right, let's go into position changes. I don't think we have too many position changes. Um, so setting up for next year, Jeff Cameron is going to be our quarterback, six foot two or three from Canada. Brett Jackson will be his backup. We've got Craig Shields, and then we've got Max Coleman. No clue who that is. Uh, running back room. Uh, Rob is back. Jason Johnson comes off his red shirt. Stanley is back for his junior year. And then we've got Jordan Pierre Lewis from Georgia. And then Reggie Jenkins Stone. Two walk-ons. Okay. Wide receiver room, Gavin Cole comes off of his red shirt. Uh, 80 overall. Amari Hendricks is here. Jarvis War is somebody that they signed for us. I will probably end up cutting him, and I will be cutting Ronnie Bonner. Uh, those are two guys I did not recruit, and I don't want to mess up what we're doing for the team. So um, I'll probably end up cutting them when we get to that stage. Uh, tight end, we're good. So here's where we go with the, the offensive line. Definitely got to fix this. Um, we're going to kick Darius in to play right guard. I think we put Henderson over at left tackle. Yeah. Bradshaw, Williams, Dove. Yep. Why you technically can't cut them, you don't have enough players because they will put on. I would rather have the walk-ons than to have those guys, to be honest with you. Just give me the walk-ons instead. All right. Defensive line is going to be stacked next year. My God, we're going to have some dogs on the defensive line yo do we put Chaz in the spot where B, uh, where uh, Shock was last year I think we do I think we put Chaz at left end and we move Leslie to the right side I think Chaz could have one of those years I think Chaz could have a breakout year for us He's faster than what Ethan was, too. D tackle. We got some dogs here, too, man. Good linebacking group again. Corner led by our two our two senior corners. Prime moves into the slot. I might actually start Prime on the outside. Prime might start on the outside and Stevenson might be a slot. But look, I mean, we've got these we've got these two guys. A lot of guys coming off their red shirts. K 
Kenneth Orange is back for his senior year. Addison's back for his junior year. We got to find a new user. Anthony Hall is still here. Motley is going to be good. I like it, man. It's crazy that our true freshman is going to be our best is right now is our best player on the team. We lost that much that our true freshman tackle is going to be our best player before we go into uh, before we go into the um, offseason workouts. Who's the kicker? Hank Taylor, true freshman from California. And then we've got Skylar Morgan, a true freshman from Missouri. All right, man. And now we go into training results. So again, I can't open training results. When we get to that screen, I have to do it through the um, the hub. So give me a second here. Big shout out to everybody still rocking with me right now, man. I appreciate y'all as we get ready for we're shaping up to be arguably might be our toughest off or our toughest toughest season. Uh, we lost a lot of firepower, man. Uh, going to train the results. Oh man, I'm. This is gonna make me nervous because I feel like we're gonna get one of the players that we're hoping to make an impact. They're gonna have like one of those one of those bad off seasons like Brian Taylor had last year. So let's not hope for that. Let's let's hope that everybody handled business in the off season. They went and got their workouts on. It's saved. I'm not going to look at it. I'm just going to close it out. Boom. We'll go back in and look at the training results. Okay. And our boy Darius. Oh, y'all can't see it. All right, man. Look at our boy Darius. Getting a plus five at right guard. He's now the best player on the team as an 87 overall. <sighs> this is going to make me nervous. All right, let's go through it. Okay. Jeff Cameron goes up to a 79 overall. He got faster, which is good for us. Uh, he's only attempted four passes in his career at Northwestern. He comes in with 84 throw power with 78 accuracy. Yo, 69 awareness. Okay. Okay. I knew it was going to be tough this year. Brett Jackson, the red shirt freshman coming off his red, coming off his red shirt year. 72 overall. He's got 81 throw power with 79 throw accuracy. Okay. Running back room. Francis goes up six. He's a 79 overall now. Uh, with 90 speed, 84 acceleration, 85 carry, 89 elusive. It's going to be different without Mac and Shock on the team. Facts, bro. 80 uh, ball carrier vision, 90, 99 juke move now. Okay. Okay. I like Jason Johnson. 95 speed, 86 acceleration, 88 agility with 92 elusiveness. 94 juke move. He can't run a route and he can't catch to save his life. Okay. Progress. Wide receiver room. Oh boy. Gavin Cole, 5'8, 180, up to an 83 overall with 92 speed. Amari Hendricks, 6'1, 195. He gets a plus five. He's up to an 83 overall with 94 speed. And then we got KJ Washington, 6'2, 210. Uh, up three to a 78 overall. Who's got the best hands on the team now? It's going to be Gavin Cole. 
Oh my God. Y'all, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Our other two wide receivers can't catch a cold. Holy. Okay. Uh, D boom goes up to an 82 overall. Anderson goes up to a 77 overall. Anderson or uh, Aaron or Ali goes up to a 77 overall. Anderson fell two spots down to a 71. He had a terrible off season. Minus four catch of traffic, minus six route running. Yo. Okay. All right. Jeremy Hall goes up to a 71. Jamal Bradshaw as a sophomore goes up to a 75. Uh, Nas is up to an 83. Like I mentioned before, Dove is up to an 87 at right guard now. And then at right tackle, we've got the freshman. Chaz only gets a plus one for his senior year. 90 tackle, 82 power move, 69 finesse, 83 block shed. Okay. All right. Uh, Daryl Leslie gets a plus one. Mike Gay gets a plus three. We're going to have a great rotation on the defensive line. Yeah, we're going to have a nice rotation here. Q still gets a plus four. TJ gets a plus one. Alonzo Lucas gets a plus four. But Elliot Roberts gets a plus seven. His awareness goes up to an 86 now. I got to bump TJ's awareness up. Can <laughs> we say Woot? Uh, tackling still needs some work. Hit power is good. He's got a 90 power move though. So we're going to use him a lot on, uh, on the run game. 79 finesse. So he's got the, he's going to be our best pass rusher at the D tackle spot. He just has no, uh, block shutting. He gets a plus seven though. Play wreck is up eight. I mean, he had a good off season, man. Mike Carey loses a point. Trevor Gordon goes up four. 88 speed at outside linebacker is nothing to sneeze at, boy. Let's go. 63 catching. Tackles out at 81. Block shed sucks, though. 68 block shed. Good Lord. Okay. Benson goes up to an 80. 83 tackle, 85 play rank, 84 block shut. Tyson goes up three. 91 block shut for him. And 82 hit power. We might have him on the field a lot more. That 80 speed, though, is a little concerning. Cornerback room, a lot of the I thought these guys would get a lot more. Uh, boost in this, but Kellen is up to an 85 for his senior year. Beast is up to an 83. Uh, Beast Jr. is up to an 81. Prime gets a plus one. He's up to an 80. Benjamin gets a plus one. He's up to a 78. Brian Bennett loses three points. Bro, you're out partying way too much, my guy. Uh, fastest corner is still Prime. Best hands is Beast and Beast Jr. Stevenson is a better tackler than everybody. All right, so man coverage, Beast and Beast Jr. And then you got Kellen. We might switch to his, we might do a little more zone coverage this year. Beast Jr. can't press though. Only 67 press for Beast Jr., but the top two guys are 90 overall in press. All right. Let's see. Anthony Hall gets a plus two. Kenneth Orange gets a minus three. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. 
I was expecting Kenneth Orr to have a good offseason, yo. He lost minus four on hit power. He lost minus three on man coverage, but his zone coverage is still good. Okay. Play wreck is trash. Holy. His play wreck is awful. Strong safety. Addison goes up a plus five. You love to see it, Addy. You love to see it. 93 speed. You got faster. Um, Catching still up there. Still needs some work. <laughs> Good jump. Tackle is up. Block shed is up. Pursuit is up. 96 man, 85 zone. Let's go, man. You were in the lab lab, bro. George, uh, 91 man, 82 zone. 86 pursuit. Did he get faster? If he got faster, he might. Yeah, he did get faster. 89. We might see him a little bit on the field this year. Okay. All right, boys. Y'all was in the lab. I love it. Now comes the fun part, man. We got to get down to a. Oh, only three people we got to cut. Back-to-back -back decent off seasons, you like it? That's what I'm talking about, bro. We we're gonna go on. We're gonna we're gonna do a lot of cuts here. Um, Max Coleman will get cut. Then we gotta get rid of these guys, man. War, Bonner. All right. Let's see. Mikey Schwab. Eighty five speed, eighty five acceleration. He's got thirty five awareness, though. 70 tackle. I mean, 85 speed at outside linebacker is not bad. But he doesn't really do anything else. I think Brian Bennett gets cut. Yeah. I, I just don't see him getting on the field. Like it, man. This is gonna be a fun year because we don't have that superstar player. Those superstar players, like we've had the past couple years. Yeah, I man. Could have worked at free safety. We're we're deep at strong safety though. I mean strong safety, we're we're Gucci. And the cool I think the cool part about this year's team, we don't have like that one player that's gonna be like, yo, I'm declaring early. Yeah, the kicker's a two star. The punter's a three star. Yeah. Our our the rule was for the first five seasons, we could not recruit anything over a three star prospect. So now we're going into our fifth season, we can start recruiting higher overall players. I'm interested to see what our schedule, what they have our schedule looking like. <laughs> this might be Coach Autry's best coaching job uh, since he's been here. If we really look at the talent on this team, um, it's going to be interesting. All 
All right, let's see what uh, the schedule is looking like. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not playing an FCS squad. For the first time, we're having to play the team up north. We have yet to play Ohio State in this in this series. All right, let's do some let's do some moving around here. Uh, we'll open this one up. We'll go. Who should we play in week one, y'all? Oh, there's not a lot to everybody. We should play Georgia Tech. Should we play Georgia Tech week one? We can make this a neutral site, neutral site game. Um, play Tennessee. Yeah, but we want to we want a tough schedule though. Uh, I'll say kickoff. Yeah, let's do I'll say kickoff. We're the home team, of course. Let's see who's available week two. Army, ranked number five. BYU, twenty fifth. Clemson in at number six. Florida State. James Madison, Kentucky. Miami, Oklahoma. We should probably get a rematch with Oklahoma, huh? TCU, Texas A&M, Tulane, UCF. And that's it. I, I like the thought of an Oklahoma rematch. Like a home and home with Oklahoma. Hey, Moose, that sounds amazing, bro. That sounds amazing. Texas A&M. Uh, I mean, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. See week three. I think we should make that an open as we get ready for Big Ten play. I just have a gauntlet here. Let's see. Uh, no good teams there. Just as bad there. Um. I guess our non-conference games will have to wrap up here. Let's see. Army was available. Clemson. James Madison, Kentucky. Miami. We have Texas A&M already there. Kentucky. I like the thought of Kentucky. Um, let's play Kentucky at Kentucky or home. Home for Kentucky. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and then kickoff game I like this schedule I like this so we start things off with Georgia Tech in the all state kickoff then we hit the road headed to Texas A&M back home to take on Kentucky and then Big Ten play starts when we take on USC on the road come back home play the team up north we play Oregon get our bye week then on the road for Minnesota Iowa UCLA Homecoming versus Michigan State. Then we've got Washington, and then we close out against Illinois, the rivalry game. And Illinois is ranked this year. They're 18th. I like it. I like that schedule. It's tough. It's going to be a tough one. 
Woo! All right, boys. Let me save this. Let me save that, and then we go full screen. Listen, man. Season five is here. Oh, baby. And we'll probably start it either, probably Saturday. Probably start it on Saturday. Um, I'm going to go through, make sure the recruiting class is, the, rec the recruiting class is updated. Uh, I'll do all the red shirts, all the depth chart stuff off stream. Um, and we'll kick things off on Saturday, man. Again, appreciate all you guys for being here tonight. Wish me luck tomorrow as I take on this crazy burger challenge. Lord Jesus. Oh, if you guys want to follow along, I'll be on Instagram doing the Instagram stories and everything, man, at Big C Guy Game on IG if you guys want to follow along. Um, it should be fun. It should be fun. And for all you guys that are coming in late, uh, I am now a host of a segment on uh, on the news station that I work for. It's called Take a Road Trip. And tomorrow is my first episode that I'll be um, hosting and recording. And I have to take, I have to do a burger challenge. And this thing is huge. It's four patties, chili, cheese, egg hash brown it's insane uh so that'll be the first episode that i do uh hopefully i'll be back on thursday <laughs> uh thursday night stream will be uh road to the show road to the show that should be a lot of fun if you missed that first episode man go back and watch that stream i was very stressed out in playing that game so make sure you guys go check that out but y'all i appreciate everybody being here tonight shout out to all the new subs all the new followers we're back on the grind on Thursday. Enjoy the rest of this evening and your Wednesday. And I'll talk to y'all the next one. Love y'all, boys. Have a great night. Two fingers in the air. Peace.